So in this one we're talking about proof by induction. And proof by induction is all about your mathematical dominoes. You line them all up, you get ready, and you knock them over. Alright, let's get started. So jumping straight into it, we're going to use proof by mathematical induction to prove that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc 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 all the way up to 2n minus 1 is equal to n squared. That's the sum of some amount of odd numbers is equal to that square number. And you can see it seems to work. 1 plus 3 plus 5, that's 9, and that's a square number. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, that's 16, and, and that's a square number. But it might not work all the way up to the largest odd number you can think of. That's where proof by mathematical induction comes in. So, this is what we call PN, or proposition N. This is the proposition that we're making. It might be true, it might not be true. So, step one, when it comes to proving this, is called the basis step. And in the basis step, we show that it's true uh, for the first value. So, this is really about our domino here. We're setting up our first domino, and we're making sure that it works for our first domino. Now, mathematically speaking, we're going to say, show true for P1, for proposition 1. Now, the maths behind that's pretty simple. We substitute 1 into our formula that we came up with at the start, and we get 1 equals 1 squared, which is 1 equals 1. And therefore, we can say that proposition 1 is true, or P1 is true. So, so far, so good, straightforward. Next step is called the inductive step. Now, the inductive step is sort of tricky to wrap your head around. Uh, we're going to assume that it's true for some number k. Okay. Um, now, I'm putting it there, right? And you might sort of count between them and say, well, that's domino 5. But it's not. It's just k. It's just a value. It could be any and all values, but it's just I'm just setting up a domino and saying that's k. Okay. So mathematically speaking, we're going to assume that it's, the, the proposition is true for k. Assume true for pk. That is to say that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2k minus 1 equals k squared. Now, it's a bit weird here. We're just assuming that's true. And I found it really hard to wrap my head around this the first time I did proof by induction. All right, so stick with it. Now, step 2b. Uh, prove that if this is true, if it works for k, then it would also work for k plus 1. Okay, so we're not saying that it is true for that. We're saying we're assuming that it's true for that. And now we're going to prove that if it is indeed true for that, then it must also be true for that. Uh, mathematically speaking, we're going to say that prove that pk plus 1 is true, given that pk is true. Okay, uh, now in my formula here, I'm going to write RTP. Um, which universally mathematics teachers um, know that that means required to prove. So it's required to prove here that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc etc, 2k minus 1. Alright, so that's all the stuff up to k. And then plus 2k plus 1 minus 1. So that's our next domino here, right? So we're just adding on the last term or the extra term. And now we need to prove that that's equal to k plus 1 squared. Because what we're doing is substituting this domino here. This, this was k, so this must be k plus 1. We're substituting k plus 1 into our formula. And we need to prove that that equation is true. That equation is not true yet. We don't know it's true. We need to prove that. Okay, so the way that we're going to do that is split up our left hand side and our right hand side. And maths teachers are really, really particular about this. You want your left hand side over here somewhere, you want your right hand side over here somewhere, and you don't want to mix them up. Uh, you can't sort of do that thing with equations where you square both sides. You can't subtract 5 from both sides. That doesn't fly here. The only thing you can do is manipulate the left hand side and manipulate the right hand side. And our goal here is to manipulate the left-hand side and right-hand side so that they look the same. If they look the same, then they are the same. Alright, so the left-hand side is the interesting side here. Because if you look at the left-hand side, 
in our little required to prove bit up the top here. Look at the first section. Uh, 1 plus 3 plus 5 dot 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 plus 2k minus 1. We already assumed, down over here a little bit, that that's equal to k squared. So we can substitute k squared into that, into our left hand side. Now what's left over there? 2k plus 1 minus 1. And when you simplify that down a little bit, it just becomes 2k plus 1. You expand the brackets, you subtract the constants from each other, and you get 2k plus 1. All right, and then we can just work down here a little bit and say that that's k squared plus 2k plus 1. Now, when we look at the right-hand side, we have k plus 1 squared. If you expand that, you get k squared plus 2k plus 1. And that means that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And that is proof by induction. Now, what has that got to do with our little dominoes? How do we finish it off? Well, remember what I said about k. That, uh, that's just, that's not the k, right? Just k could be anything. We just assumed it was true for a k. And if it's true for a k, it could be true for a different k. So if this is k now, and that's k plus 1, maybe I could say that's k. And if that was k, well, this would be k plus 1. All right, and so, well, wait a minute. Maybe I could put k here. If I put k here... This is k plus 1. And if it's true for this, it's true for that. We just, we just proved that. Maybe this could be k. And if it's true for that, it's true for that. Or maybe this could be k, and this could be k plus 1. Now, looking back at our basis step up here, we did prove that it was true for 1. So if it's true for 1, and 1 was k, then it would also be true for k plus 1. But if this was k, and we just showed that if that's true, then that's true, then if that's true, that's true, and 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 if that's true, that's true. Done. That's how proof by induction works. Uh, now, I've set this up here. People can be a little bit pedantic about how they want their working to look for proof by induction. So let's just magic that up a little bit, take away some of the superfluous stuff. Zoop. And that is what your proof by induction should look like. All right, uh, we're going to practice heaps more of those, but I just really wanted to get the basic idea for what proof by induction is through a fairly simple example.